the case of Cryptococcus gadii. An outbreak of a potentially deadly disease was first noticed in British Columbia, Canada in 2001. The disease caused symptoms that resembled pneumonia, a tumor, or an infection of the brain. The cases accumulated, and the number of hospitalizations rose at an unusual rate, but little was known about the infectious agent. The location and identity of the pathogen needed to be known to solve the mystery of how and why this outbreak had occurred. A phone call from the BC Centres for Disease Control to a scientist at the University of British Columbia set in motion a team of investigators to identify and locate the source of this outbreak. The phone call was regarding cryptococcosis, a potentially fatal fungal disease. Dr. Karen Bartlett took the case and began to search for patterns and clues for where the pathogen might be hiding. One of the first clues was a report by Dr. Craig Stevens, a veterinary epidemiologist at the Centre for Coastal Health, who had noticed an unusual cluster of human and animal cases on Vancouver Island. People, dogs, cats, porpoises, even llamas were being diagnosed with cryptococcosis. Dr. Bartlett and her team began intensive environmental sampling. Using labs at UBC, they isolated genotypes of the Cryptococcus gadii fungus from the bark of trees in the areas with mild wet winters and temperate summers. Further investigation into the genetic patterns of Cryptococcus gadii fungus samples showed that it was unique to a local environment. Each of the samples was coded with Geographic Information System Coordinates, or GIS, to identify its location of origin. Sunny Mack, a GIS specialist in epidemiology from the BC CDC, plotted the isolates on maps. These maps showed that Cryptococcus gadii was located in specific ecological niches, mainly on the east coast of Vancouver Island. These maps were used to develop ecological niche models to predict where the fungus might emerge in the future. As an emergent infectious pathogen, Cryptococcus gadii shows how changes in climate can affect our health. This pathogen was not thought to exist in British Columbia until the outbreak that triggered its investigation. Cryptococcus gadii is now endemic, or found everywhere in this area. When humans alter the environment or move into previously uninhabited areas, new and often deadly pathogens can emerge. Scientific investigations that solve these mysteries, such as the case of Cryptococcus gadii, are an important part of public health.